Hi, question. So now I'm making a video about your video to show you the type of blunder you're making. Does that make me also an angry man? Well, then I think you have a mental issue. If making a video about your video to show you how wrong you are and what you are saying means that we are upset, then you got some mental problem and that you need therapy. Honestly. Woo! What up YouTube? This is your host, T.O.V. The Open Veil TV back with another video. Now, um, let's see if I can remember her name now. Her name is what again? Tony Brian, right? Let's see. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. My name is Tony Brian, and in today's video, we're going to be discussing Kevin Samuels and his followers in the Red Pill community. So I already know what this video is going to attract, a bunch of angry men. I, I've already dealt with this in a previous video that I did, where in the past like two months, it has been 100% male audience, and that video was like why dating sucks in 2021, although I spoke very clearly on how this video reflects on both parties and i mentioned several times in the video that men need to find their worth too people decided to take what they wanted to take and they did whatever with that information and really tried to like hurt my feelings but it really didn't work like that video showed me how strong i was because i really did not care about you to comment uh block delete whatever and then i move on like i don't care so like don't take time on your day to like leave a hate comment because you're just gonna get blocked and i really don't care like it honestly doesn't affect me because i already know what type of man you are like a man i would never want in a million years you try and say you wouldn't want me and think that's gonna hurt my feelings but maybe i never wanted you to begin with okay but without Hi, Tony. Tony, 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 Tony. Um, you can choose a man, okay? I want to right now. You can get a man to have sex with you, but you cannot convince a man to be with you. So you want it to be with a man, it's a man's decision. If he doesn't want you, he will not, he will not have a man. If you want to have sex, Yes, you can have many men if you want. But don't get confused between having sex with a man and a man being committed to you. Two different things. But let's move on. Further ado, let's get straight into this video because this topic has been sitting on my mind for a long time. And just hearing more and more men that are listening to this man and seeing more comments, especially from like the type of content I make of like angry men coming in my comments. I always call them angry little men. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna break this down. We're gonna get right into this. So without further ado, let's get straight into this video. So Kevin Samuels is a part of the Red Pill community. So I'm gonna break down what the Red Pill community is. Okay, so according to the Business Insider, I looked it up. So the Red Pill is known as the weird new cult for men who don't understand women. That's what they came up with, but it's basically a community of men giving other men dating advice. However, I feel that the dating advice given by the Red Pill community is in a very toxic and misogynistic way. Alright, let's pause. Let me give you the definition, okay? So, the Red Pill has nothing to do with dating advice. As a matter of fact, right here, Wikipedia tells us where it came from, right? The term red pill or blue and blue pill refer to interest between the willingness to learn a potentially unsettling or life-changing truth by taking 
the red pill or remaining in contented ignorance with the blue pill. The term referred to a scene in the 1999 film The Matrix. So, please, was there any dating advice in The Matrix when that term came out? Tony? No. So, you see, what you do is you go find something that soothes what you want to hear and then say, Oh, I did my research. Girl, you did not do any research. Because you would have found out it came from the movie The Matrix. Not the business insider. Because remember, the business insider acts uh, is for you, basically. They don't like men either. They are leftist womanists. They're just like you are right now. So of course, you would like what they say. But does it mean it is the truth? Let's move on. And it does not help those men at all. So I do find some of the things that, for instance, Kevin Samuels says, there's many men a part of that community, but I don't watch that content. I don't watch Kevin Samuels, but Kevin Samuels is the most popular. So I tend to see him pop up here and there from other people's perspectives, speaking on him and speaking on what he said. So you don't watch his content, but you are making a video about him, you see? And then you want to call men angry men. Now, should we say you're acting very ignorant for what you just said right now? By the way, you know the word feel actually, it doesn't work only in dating advice. We use it for that mainly. But it also works in education, politics, even driving. You know when you're driving, they tell you when you're driving and you have your 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 side mirrors, right? And they say you have to look, you have to basically look into the mirror so you can um, we have to basically push yourself forward to see your blind spot. What we do is we all you have to do, this is what the red pill teaches you. Instead of having to move forward to look at your side mirror so you can see the blind spot, you can just sit back, right? Sit back on your in your car. Just open the mirror until you can see the back of your car. Once you can see the back of your car, this is the blind spot. So there is no need to move forward like this. You can just sit back and look into the mirror and then look forward. That's what the red wheel does. It is not about dating advice only. So some of the things that Kevin Samuel says, I don't necessarily disagree with. I feel like a lot of things are important. I feel like it is good that men are having an outlet to hear from another man besides just making moves on their own, especially in the black community, because as we know, statistically, a lot of black men or black fathers are not in the household. So a lot of black men are just growing up with their mothers. And I think it's still very important for black men to have men in their households, a father figure. Um, so a lot of them don't have that. So I think that this is a really good push. It was a good push, but I think the delivery was so wrong on how a lot of these spokespersons or spokespeople for the Red Pill community advocate. So like I said, I believe a lot of things that Kevin Samuel says are true. However, he delivers all this information to the wrong community. A lot of Kevin Samuels supporters are not these high quality men that Kevin Samuels speaks of. For instance, Kevin Samuels considered a high quality man. Um, Kevin Samuels does not talk about high quality men. He talks about high value men. There's a difference. A high value man does not necessarily mean that person is high quality. Because talking about high quality, you have to also take into consideration the person's personality, the person's character, the hobbies, and all of those things. High value simply means he has a lot of money. And he is having, not just having money, but he has a business. Not like a one-time drug deal thing. He has a constant high income for a long period of time. 
your homework before you make a video, young girl. Man or a high profile man because he I believe is he has money I'm sure I mean he has quite the large platform so I'm assuming he has money and he is an older man from what he considers to be high status so I believe he is one of those but a lot of the men that he has as supporters are very angry men that never were able to get a woman or at least an attractive woman from their standards they still live at home they don't have a great job and overall they're just angry with what the world left them with they're angry at the world so this causes them to really hate women because a lot of women don't even want them they, they're not even in those women's calibers so they decide to hate all women and they use the red pill community as a source to spew out their hatred for women specifically black women so i tend to see the red pill community being a very toxic degrading and malicious platform and kind of like the definition said online it's like a cult i definitely feel like they are a cult it's just so much negativity in that community and they feed off of that I've seen certain men um, react to my videos I don't watch the videos I don't care to I just kind of block whoever made the video because I don't know why you're watching my content anyway that makes you so upset and the comments are disgusting like it all right question so now I'm making a video about your video to show you the type of blunder you're making does that make you also an angry man? Well, then I think you have a memory issue. If making a video about your video to show you how wrong you are and what you are saying means that we are upset, then you got some mental problems and that you need therapy. Honestly. Like, wow. But, since you think you know better, let's see if you're gonna tell it yourself to grab a rope and end it all. Like, that's like their intention. Now, they're lucky that I'm a strong woman. I'm a strong black woman. What you say does not offend me or hurt my feelings. Like, I- And I'm pretty sure you're single, right? <laughs> because, oh no. I'm single because I choose to be single. Oh, let me tell you. You're single because no man wants you. Wait, are you single actually? Oh, okay. Yeah, I thank you because you mentioned you said you made a video how dating sucks in 2021. So you must be single. That means men don't want you. You see, you can get men to have sex with you, but don't equate that to getting a man to commit to you. Those are two different things. Oh, because you couldn't get an attractive woman. I'm like, no, that's not the case. We can get an attractive woman. The problem is, most attractive women now are shallow. Think about that part too. I laugh at what you say but say that was someone that was more weak-minded and they really took offense to the things that you say and you really had someone in their life honestly I don't even think they would feel sorry for it they probably say well she probably deserved to do what she did because she doesn't deserve a high quality man like that's like that's honestly what I think they would say they are like and I don't want to say everyone but the majority that I see in the comments that I get a lot of them they'll say like oh you should listen to Kevin Samuels maybe and I'm like okay I knew you'd listen to Kevin Samuels just by how you responded just by the way you acted like a little boy so like I said, I don't necessarily find Kevin Samuels advice. And right now you're acting just like a little girl. You're acting just like a little girl by not doing your homework, by being lazy, and by not understanding that you are not the prize. You are the one who is wanting to get into a relationship. And because men don't want you, you say that dating in 2021 sucks. Don't get confused between having a man sleep with you with having a man commit to you. That's the same thing, little girl. And then you think you are strong. <laughs> wow. Advice to be horrible. I agree with some of the things he says, but many of the things he says, I feel like it's very misogynistic, okay. not pro black at all. And his followers take in that advice. Everything is misogynistic for a woman. When she doesn't get her way, she goes with guilt, shame, and the need to be right. That's exactly what little girls do, Tommy. 
So grow up, take your responsibility, and behave better. Then maybe then a man is going to look at you differently. All right? So I would say I think his delivery just kind of sucks. He needs to have a better delivery and then his followers just kind of run with that. They run with what he says even though Kevin Samuels isn't really speaking for them but they support him because Kevin makes them feel like they are that high quality man when they really probably aren't. And I think the advice given is very toxic for men who are not of high status society wise because they start believing they are and they go around saying ridiculousness that they can't say in person because they could say it on the internet because most of them don't have profile pictures it's a safe space on the internet they think that no one's ever gonna know who they are but in person they will get dragged for filth okay if they ever say half the things that they say in person because they sound so ignorant and ridiculous especially if i know who you are in person i know you're hold on hold on right now you are the one who sounds ignorant number one you went to the wrong place to look for what a red pill actually means, right? Instead of doing your homework, you wanted to go with something that makes you feel good instead of what the truth is. So number one, you are the one who is ignorant. Number two, we are making sure you know that not because you can get a man to have sex with you, which I'm, I'm pretty sure you can get a hundred men to have sex with you. You don't leave your own right now, you go outside and say, I want to have sex. A hundred men would actually want to have sex with you. But say you want a boyfriend, that's a different story. See? We are trying to explain to you, female, like you, that the idea of believing you can get any men you want does not work. You think you don't want them in reality. We don't want you because the women that actually are girlfriend material, wife material, they are being snatched up just like that. But you're still single, so that means there must be something wrong with you, Tony. You, not the men. But hey. We are angry men who are replying to your videos, right? Yeah. Your occupation is, I know how old you are, I know how you physically look while you're degrading women's looks. I feel like a lot of his supporters constantly degrade women's looks for no reason. It'll be a beautiful woman or it'll be a woman that I would say is even regular, but they are so quick to call someone ugly because Kevin Samuel says it's okay to call a woman a four when a woman thinks she's a seven or a woman thinks she's a nine. Like that's just, it, it's weird to me. And what annoys me the most when it comes to that because Kevin Samuels will particularly have black women go on his lives, he will automatically disrespect a black woman and call her less than what she really is. And I feel like that's not okay because black women us as black women we already go through enough society already tells us we're ugly society already tells us that we're not good enough and you trying and do you know actually who teach you society it's women women teach women teach you society so if we tell you you are something then trust me another woman already said it before we did now I know you wanna tell all men of queens, all men of pretty or ten. That's not the case. If that's the case, then all men are wealthy and handsome. But you would laugh at that, wouldn't you? Exactly to degrade a black woman by saying she's a four when she's saying she's a seven i just don't think that's okay and i know he thinks it's helping a woman by saying well you're actually a four that does not no first of all beauty is in the eye of the beholder and if a girl thinks she's a seven but she really is a four what is your purpose in saying that what is to help her understand that the delusion will keep her single the delusion will keep her single just like you are single because you are complaining that dating 2021 sucks. Now, I don't know how you look without the makeup and all the fake things you have in your face, but if you... <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about. So next time I look at video, please remove the makeup, 
to move the thick stuff in your face and make a video with your true face just like I am making a video with my true face alright so let's move on what is that gonna do for her besides make her after she gets off that live really sit there either cry herself to sleep or really think about herself in the worst light ever like that doesn't help and then you do it in front of thousands of people i don't know why women even go on his lives anymore because all he does is disrespect women from what i've seen obviously not all the time i also have seen certain clips on like the shade room of him being respectful like towards tommy who tommy happens to be my twin you know we don't look like anymore she got a lot of plastic surgery but she's still beautiful oh you know what i'm gonna stop right here actually the delusion guys i'm gonna stop right here the delusion oh so tommy is still beautiful but she has plastic surgery and then you wonder why men trash talk you but then you're gonna call them angry men right right so tommy please do me a favor do me a favor do not, please do not give women dating advice because it's women like you who are keeping other women single. And you wanna talk bad about Kevin Samuel and his followers? That he actually is helping the women to get a man? Because they have that high value mentality. They want a man who makes six figures. They don't want a man who has good qualities, remember that. That's why he talks about high value, not high quality. Alright? These women come to the show looking for a high value man. You have to be making six figure, at least six foot tall, and having six pack abs. Nothing there talks about personality. Okay? Alright guys, I'm gonna stop right here because there's too much delusion in this video. I can't take it anymore. Comment, like, subscribe below. This was your boy T.O.V. The Open Veil TV with another video. Until then, I'm out.